Hey guys, what's up? It's Tease here coming at you with episode 8 of my Cal Poly Mustangs Dynasty and NCAA Football 14. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it so far. Currently, we are sitting 3 and 4. We've done a lot better than expected, but I really think the triple option has really helped us out so far. But before I get into anything else, I just want to say, if you guys do enjoy the episode, please smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. I'm going to try and do this a couple seasons, see how far that goes. Hopefully you guys like how I've been doing every week every Saturday at 10 that a new episode comes out but like I said we're going up against San Diego State at San Diego State they're sitting four and two and out and it's kind of crazy because all three of our wins have come in conference as we take a look at our recruiting here we're going definitely heavy on wide receiver look at Mueller we have a chance with him our offensive line we're trying to bulk up as well and as well as our cornerbacks which is honestly very very tough right now to stop any passing attack so we are working on that and just trying to find some consistency on the cornerback and passing defense because honestly that has been our Achilles heel. We are just doing so bad at that, but we are going to try and stop that next year. So this year we just got to roll with it, hope that our team is able to hold them a few times and allow our offense to run with the ball. If you guys haven't been able to keep up or really understand how I'm running the offense, I run it out of conservative, which means that it runs the play clock down quite a bit. But here we are in San Diego at San Diego Stadium, which once was San Diego Chargers Stadium, which is pretty cool. So we're playing at an NFL stadium. They are sitting four and two and they have a much better offense and defense than we do. So we have a tough, tough day ahead of us. First team who gets the ball here, San Diego State starting it off first and 10. And look at this, Williams misses a tackle on the read option. The quarterback breaks the tackle from Williams. And next thing you know, he is off for the races. Can you believe it? One play, 90 yards for the touchdown run. We get the ball after that. And once we do, look at those shaking little quotes right there as we get a pitch to the outside on second and three. And we are able to get the first down thanks to Shane Holloway in a five yard rush. Now it is third and one. Next play, running the triple option again, this time out of the shotgun. And he, Bradshaw, just gets enough for the first down as it is now first down. But now, a couple plays later, third and 10 here. One of the few times that we probably got to pass the ball here. So out of the shotgun. Patrick Davis motions Holloway to the left side of the field, runs a hot route for him to do a slant over the middle, and he's scrambling to the right side, looking, 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 and breaks a tackle and fires it wide open to Pierce, who gets lit up and drops it. So we have to punt. Down 7 nothing. hoping our defense can get a stop for us here. It is now first and 10, and they try to run the read option again, but he gets stuffed this time for a 15 for a five yard loss, excuse me, two plays later, third and 15, running a screen to the left here, and we sniffed that out from the beginning, fourth and 19, forcing them to punt. So we get the ball back in great field position here. Now it is second and eight, running the triple option from the bunch formation, and we run it to the outside. Davis pitches it right before getting lit up, only able to gain a couple yards there, but it is now fourth and excuse me, third and six, not fourth and six, third and six. Run the triple option to the right side, and Davis gets trigger happy and should not have pitched that, but he did, forcing us to punt it now at fourth and eight. San Diego State gets the ball back inside their 20-yard line, third and 10 now. We're trying to get a stop here, trying to get a stop, no pressure, and oh my goodness, our, our cornerback trips leaving their wide receiver wide open, and he takes it in for the score. And just like that, we are down 14-0 after an 87-yard touchdown pass. We get the ball back here, first and 10, running the read option here. Davis able to get outside, get a block, and actually cuts it back inside for a 9.5-yard a, a gain. And as we get back on the ball, because that play worked really, really well, running the same play, takes it outside again, and this time he runs it out of bounds smartly. No risking the fumble but a couple plays later now notice we're in second quarter two minutes to go third and seven motioning Holloway again to the left side here and doing an audible to make him drag over the middle again this time as we are looking to see if there's any mismatches and Davis is looking looking and finds Holloway who's able to catch it for the first down just under two minutes ago in the first half third and 13 now 
55 seconds to go now as we are going to put another guy in motion again. It's Holloway, but this time moving him to the right side of the field. And we're going to try and have him run an out route, see if he's able to get the first down here as we do hit him. And he gets hit out of bounds at the 36-yard line. So guess what? Tim Walsh's teams, what are they known for? Going for it on fourth down. We've done it quite a bit of times already so far as Davis takes it himself and does not get the first down. But fortunately, we are able to stop them. So it's 14 nothing at halftime. We get the ball back to start it. And just like we did before, Davis runs the read option and gets a nice about nine yard gain for the first down here. Third and eight now, right about the 50 yard line, probably about the 48, running the triple option again from the shotgun as he fakes the handoff and he has a seam. Davis up the middle all the way to about the 16 yard line for the first down, making it first and goal. And the very next play here, running a play action pass, scrambling to the right side, and he is gonna take it himself for the touchdown to cut the lead to seven points. Definitely something the offense needed there, needed a spark, and we are down seven points going late into the third quarter as they get the ball back, first and 10, and they tried to run the re-option again, but we were not fooled at all as we sacked the quarterback again for a loss, and now it is third and 11, a couple plays later now, and it looks like they are trying to run the screen again here, but we are not fooled again. And another defensive stop, fourth and 14. We are to get the ball back in great field position as we start out on their side of the 50, which is always a nice start. Running the read option again here. Davis, another wide open to the right side here, and he's able to take it inside the third yard line, inside the 25 actually, but a couple plays later now, Third and seven, running the option here, trying to see if we fool anybody, and it looks like we might have something here, and it is first and ten, seven yards. We got exactly what we needed. Now we are at first and goal, very next play here, running the read option, and guess what? Davis takes it in for the touchdown with just under four minutes to go to tie the game 14 apiece. And guess who gets the ball back? San Diego State, obviously as it is now first and 10 for them. And they hand it off to the running back and we have a stop in the middle, but he breaks a tackle and luckily he gets knocked down or it looked like he could have gone all the way for six there. Second and three now as we are bringing the blitz, bringing the heat here and they run it again up the middle and we miss a tackle here. And just like what would have happened last play, he actually made it happen. And for some reason, I don't know why, but they did not use Rashad Penny at all because I looked at the stats and he was much better than this Williams guy overall, and he was not injured, so I do not know what the problem was, but there must have been something going on with the coach as we get the ball back, and look at that pitch from Davis as Bradshaw is able to take it for a 22-yard gain, which is awesome, something that we needed. We need to try and get back on the board under two minutes ago, We're trying to run that clock out, running the read option again, and Davis able to this time again get out of bounds stop the clock and allow us to hold on to our last time out here. Second and 15 now, running the triple option and wow, he came wide there, but perfect pitch to Holloway and he cuts up over the middle for a 21 yard gain with a minute and 12 remaining on the clock. Now we are simming a couple seconds later, 24 seconds to be exact, running the triple option and Davis is able to take it in himself for the touchdown to tie the game at 21 apiece. Ensuing kickoff, we are trying to pin them down there, trying to stop them as best as we can because there's 20 seconds on the clock and they do have three timeouts. But unfortunately, everyone sticks on their blocks and they take it over the 40 yard line, which sets them up beautifully. And now it is second down and 10 with six seconds to go here. Quarterback drops back to pass, looking for the bomb. We have everyone there just trying to knock it down and he goes up and grabs it. And just like that, San Diego State with a walk-off play against us. I told you earlier in the episode that we need to work on recruiting our cornerbacks because we are a huge liability there, and their quarterback just lobbed that right up. And what do you know? They got the win. Taking a look at the stats now, Patrick Davis, 9 for 10, 54 yards. Best game by far in the completion ratio, 90%, which is huge. Taking a look at the rushing stats now, 23 rushes, 136 yards for three TDs for Davis. Holloway, eight for 37. Jamal Bradshaw, three for 33. And Peoples with one for two. Looking now at the receiving end of the game. 
We got eight catches from Holloway, 49 yards, one from Bradshaw, and one Pierce drop. Let's take a look at what happened at the end of the week here. Looked like we got another commitment to another team. Right guard committed. We're in a battle. 69 tight end is ready to visit. 68 left end is, er, is committed to our team. And a 65 overall center has committed. So can you believe that? That is some great news. We got some commitments, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Like I said earlier, if you enjoyed it, please smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. But other than that, guys, I will see you next time when we come up against the San Jose State Spartans. Have a good Saturday. I'm out. Peace.